Hello everyone! My name is Melody Cooksley and today we will learn how to create groups for a merged course. If you want to create groups to send emails or to distinguish your individual section students, this is how you will create those groups. First, log into Blackboard and go to the parent course. Then on the top navigation panel, click on Groups. Then on the top right corner, click Import Group Set. Now, click Download Group Set Template. Once this is downloaded, we will edit the template according to our values. The template has now been downloaded. Now, we are going to open the template, and now we're going to fill in all these values. First, we have our group code. As a group code star, we will use our child course ID values. So that will be this and this for me. If you have two child courses, then you will have two rows meaning groups. If you have more, you will have more rows meaning more groups. I have only two child courses, so I am copying and pasting my child course IDs as group codes for the two groups. And I will be deleting this third one. Next we have title. Title is the group's title. You may use the name or course IDs of your child course. I am using the numbers of my child course IDs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is so I can easily understand which child course this group is for. Next we have description. This is an optional field to provide a description of the group. Then we have group set. The group set name will be the same for all rows since inside the group set all child course groups will get created. So group set would be the name for the type of groups. For example, I'm going to put in merged course section student for both rows. Next and finally we have self enroll. Please set to end for all rows. End means that students are not allowed to self enroll themselves in these groups. Now we are done editing. Save this file again as a CSV file on your computer, either des the desktop or the download folder. And then we're going to rename it to something that will be easily recognizable for later. For example, I'm going to do groups for IDC 789 course and then I'm going to save. Then you're going to close the workbook. Now we will upload this file to Blackboard to create groups inside of a group set. For that, again, we will go and open up the parent course and go to the group tab. Then we're going to click import group sets now we click on upload files to upload the CSV file that we have created. Then we will navigate to where that is in our computer. And then we'll click groups for IDC 789 underscore course. Then we will click open. And then we will click import. You will receive an email once the file has been imported. Refresh the page and there should be a new group set named Merge Course Section Students. As we can see, that worked. Click on the new group set and you will see that the new groups that has been created. As we can see, we have both sets. Now we will create a group members file to assign members to the group. For that, we will download the gradebook and edit that file according to our values. For that, we will open the parent course and go to the gradebook tab. 
Then, on the upper right corner of the page, you will see a download icon. If you hover your mouse over it, it should say Download Gradebook. Now, select Full Gradebook, select Overall Grade, select Comma Separated Values, and then select Download, and this will download onto your computer. Once it gets downloaded, open the file on your computer. Now that we have this opened, we are going to delete all the columns besides child course ID and username. So by doing that, I will do this. Now, what you're going to want to do is rename the column child course ID to group code star. So group code star. Then you're going to rename the username column to username star. So that'll be user space name and then star. And then this N also has to be capitalized. Enter. Next, move the group code star column to column A. To do that, I will move this to here, and then I'll move this out of column A. I'm doing this by simply doing control X on the computer and then control V. Then you're gonna put this back into group A. Now both of our groups are in the correct columns. Now we are done editing. Save this file again as a CSV onto our computer. I will do that the same way I did the first time. I will click Downloads, and then we are going to change this name so that it's more easily recognizable. So I'm going to call it Group Members underscore IDC 789 Course. I will then press Enter and it will save. Finally, we are going to close the workbook. Now we will upload this file to Blackboard to assign members to our newly created groups. Click on the Groups tab, and then we're going to go into the Merge Course Section Students group. Once we're in here, at the top right hand corner, there should be a Import Groups or Members button. We're going to click that. And then we're going to click Assign Members, and then we're going to click Upload File. This file will be the group members file that we created in the last step. So we will click this, and then we will click Open. Once the file gets loaded, click Import. You will receive an email once the file has been imported. Refresh the page and within a short time, your groups should appear with the students enrolled in each group by section. So now I will refresh the page. And as we can see, there are now members in both of our groups. This is how you can create groups for your merge course to distinguish your individual section students. We also have a written documentation in our KB Knowledge page on this. Please go to kb.ndsu.edu and search for Ultra Merge Course. Please let us know or submit a ticket if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.